I might sound a little <clears throat> different this morning. Well, actually, yes, it is this morning because that's when I put these up. But I am doing this earlier than I normally do, so I'm still got that kind of awake voice. Maybe a little quieter than normal, but the quality of my bad guessing does not change with the time of day. Um, but welcome to Wednesday and another guess around the world. Um, picked up another uh, theme map I found over at the EGU Guesser subreddit. Um, again, if you guys got any suggestions for maps or themes or ideas for maps you want me to do, go ahead and put them in the comments below, and I will probably end up doing them. I don't think I've turned one down before. <clears throat> so let us begin with Bridges of the World. Now, I went into this assuming that a lot of these bridges are going to be kind of like maybe big fancy ones, and maybe I'm not giving the credit that this one deserves, but when I expected to see Bridges of the World, I expected to see something better than a half, well, maybe a, th a fifth of a riverbed filled up with a flag from one of the teams on the Legends of the Hidden Temple. It might be the Blue Barracudas, and this might be the uh, Purple Monkeys. I don't know. I would have said the yellow one, but I can't remember what the yellow <coughs> team was. It, maybe the Cheetahs? I don't know. This, this very much feels like a uh, southern, southeast China thing, and that sign... The, the crosswalk sign here. I think normally these kind of just look like uh, adult and child, but this looks like giant man. Um, I would normally say if this was the other way around, he's yanking the smaller, tinier person with a purse. But it just looks like tall man um, goon arming a, a taller, a, a smaller lady into crossing the street. Um, <clears throat> I've also noticed that sitting down and doing this probably is a bad idea. Um, I'm doing this early enough in the morning before it gets too goddamn hot and I have the window shut and the fan off and the AC not going. And this is one of those days where just sitting apparently causes my body to be like, nah, man, you gotta, you gotta sweat and you're going to do it kind of like maybe, maybe it's also like a, uh, Pavlovian response I have now whenever I see like a tropical place that's very sunny and I just think this is probably humid as fuck right now and I would not be able to stand it and I would probably although I should I wouldn't uh, I would continue to wear the shirt but at that point that shirt is nothing more than just a moisture collector and it'd be very gross there are parts of the world where Yes, you could probably visit, but I don't think I was designed to live in a place like this. So this is Thailand. Now I have to find out where in Thailand. We're, we're near the Ko police station. Now the problem is, I don't know anything about Thailand other than, and if I get this flag wrong, I <clears throat> know even less about Thailand. But I'm going to put us there. We are over a world bridge. I mean, granted, it is a world bridge. That's a lake. What we went over was Piddly River. Now, I don't know what that translates to in Thai, or whether or not Thai is actually what the language is called. Like, I'm sure that there's <clears throat> dialects and everything, too. Let me take a sip of coffee because I need it. But I would not be able to tell the difference. I mentioned this before when I went um, to visit a friend in Taiwan. And we went to some, uh, I think it was a dinosaur exhibit they had traveling around the world. And it just happened to be in uh, Taiwan at the time. Oh, hold on, I got a cough. Let me, let me mute for a sec. And they were playing a video at the time. And uh, the person who was, who was talking on the... the uh, video was clearly oh god I think he was clearly French and he was also talking to someone who was clearly like the, the accent was a very French accent let's see what the name of this is this actually a river no it's a whatever king I don't care 
bottom of Kang Bo. All right. Well, we're over bridge 1087. Anyway, the French person, French accent person. This is beautiful, and I immediately love it. Um, was talking to a, uh, I think it was Russian. No, someone with a very heavy, either Russian or Slavic accent. What are we on? A four wheeler? No, this is a truck of some sort with a little uh, scaffolding hooked up on the back. That is cool because that four wheeler has an extra set of wheels in the back. That makes it instantly cooler, at least to four year old me. If I have any other memories of me being four years old, I don't know. I see sheep here. I'm thinking this is Iceland. I wonder if these are the wild sheep. But anyway, back to the video because this tangent needs to be completed because I've invested way too much time in it. Um, she was not able to tell the difference between a uh, someone with a Russian or a French accent or even the way they looked like... <clears throat> Some people can tell the difference between different people from, like, you look like you're from here, you look like you're from here, and they had a very hard time distinguishing them. And it's just that not being immersed in the cultures of, why are we going this way? What's wrong with that road? Do we want to stay off-roading? I mean, honestly, if I had the choice between going through muddy mud puddles like this and a riverbed, I would very much choose what this person is doing. Because this looks fun to drive on. You get like a big truck that, um, even if you're not that well versed, I should probably pick a place before I uh, forget anymore. This feels very much like Iceland. This is a beautiful little chunk of land somewhere on this island. I'm gonna say, and if it's not, uh, I'm gonna pretend it is because I miss this place. There was a uh, YouTube video I was watching. I, I spent a lot of time, at least the girlfriend and I, watching um, cooking shows on YouTube. We used to watch a lot of Bon Appetit, but apparently that's gone on hiatus for whatever reason. It's one of those things where I have like zero investment in what people do outside of the show, like their the cultures and the personalities when it comes to shows like that. And I'm like, huh, it's been a long time since any Bon Appetit videos came out. What's, what's happening? And then I do a quick Google search like, oh, oh, I see. But anyway, one of the, 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 the algorithm things that thankfully, I'm going to hit home. I want to go the other way because goddamn, this place is beautiful. Um, they gave us was Paul Hollywood. And if you're unaware of Mr. who Mr. Hollywood is, apparently that's his real name. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody with uh, Hollywood as their last name, but apparently Hollywood is a British uh, cooking guy, uh, baking guy, and he's one of the judges on um, Great British Bake Off, which I very much enjoy that show. I'm I'm not afraid to say it. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about baking shows. A lot of these like contest shows I could give two shits about, but... No, this one's great, but um, he goes, I almost don't feel like this is Iceland anymore. This could be like, uh, I need to see a road sign in the next 24 seconds to make me feel a little bit more confident, but, ooh, a bridge or a tunnel. Um, he got one of his shows he has, and I guess they've not translated it, but at least started to show it on... Um, YouTube was, oh, this is dark. Was him going to different countries around the world and going to their baking stuff. Yeah, I was wondering if this was going to be Faroe Islands. Fair enough. We're right next to Lave Nav Navatan. He went to Reykjavik. And he actually ended up going to one of the places he went to, and I got a breakfast at that place, actually, that was, if you've not heard of what shakshuka is, it's basically like um, almost poaching an egg in tomato sauce. And they did that there, and it was okay. I mean, there's very little, it's like, ooh, very little like in the way of spices and whatnot. Troncol Amazonica. The, auto, the water is alive. Warning. No cuidado. 
That's Spanish for warning. Cuidala could be the Portuguese version of it. Although that says Ecuador. All right, fair enough. We're, we're over here. And just going, seeing all the other things they're doing, the guy was like, uh, maybe poaching, but he was steaming bread in like geothermal vents. And it just made me like, God damn, I missed that place. All right, so this is Puente Rio Cala, Calaglas. I don't, I don't know. We're longitude Ancho. Ancho is a chili. <laughs> um, let's see, can I see? I don't think I'm actually gonna see the uh, the uh, whatever this ri river is. Like, I don't think, I don't think this is. This is the, I gotta at least click in the country itself before I completely forget. I just had a signal like, what the fuck was I just doing for the past 10 minutes rambling on about I don't know what. So this seems to be flooding maybe happened here. That's a wonderful sludge pit, even though that's just runoff. One of the joys of living in the tropical forest, I guess. Constant rain. Very thin layer of soil to keep all the uh, trees and plants from sliding all over the place. Um, I think I remember reading one of the books. I think it was 1491. It's a pretty good book. I think I talked about it like either last year. Santa Marianita. This feels like mountainous. The whole goddamn country is basically mountain, except for over here. So I'm going to say we're over here somewhere. They talked about how, I think, I think it was a theory they have that at least the Amazon rainforest isn't like a naturally occurring thing. And that the um, indigenous people actually kind of created it. Uh, I'm probably misremembering it because if I don't do anything else, it's not remembering things correctly, at least when I was reading them in a book. And I don't like reading books more than once, so I don't think I'm actually ever going to go back in. Although this is Trump Amazon, so maybe we're on this side. Like a river with a road. Maybe it's like this. I'll just say, I'll just put us right there. But I don't like reading books twice. It's not my thing. It's like, I don't watch really comedy specials more than once. I watch movies more than once, which I don't understand why. Ooh. E45. Okay, so we're on the right thing. But E45 looks like a pretty long river. And I doubt that I'm actually going to nail it any more than I have. Yeah, this is fucking way far south. Okay. What bridge were we on? Over, huh? Yeah, that was the name of the name of the river. I went into. The, I I just had this complete inc uh, preconceived notion that this feels like uh, um, Russia. By the way, before it move anywhere, we're gonna go to places like, uh, and it's very much not. This feels um, central to southeastern. Uh, Russia, uh, Russia, Europe. It's like, oh, we're going to see the Golden Gate Bridge, whatever that long-ass bridge is in France that's super tall. Maybe that, maybe that bridge between, I think it's Hong Kong and China, maybe it's Macau and China, where they actually change the uh, orientation of what you drive on the road and the way they set up the, like, merging other roads, it's like you do this weird circuitous route on both lanes of the road, and you eventually end up going to the right side of the road you're on without actually ever having to get off the road. It's interesting the amount of um, work and ingenuity that goes into. I want to see this bus. Work and ingenuity that goes into foolproofing anything, and the problem is it doesn't matter how much um, work you do. And uh, maybe this is Hungary? I don't 
don't think so, because they had umlauts. And I didn't see, oh wait, wait, I can solve this by going back one. No matter how much work you do to make something easy to understand and comprehend, there's always at least 10 people, I'd say 10% of the people, who just won't get it or won't understand it. And there'll be a time when you're looking at something and like, oh, that was amazingly easy. How does nobody get this? Where somebody else will look at it or you'll look at another thing and be like, I don't understand this at all. And someone else will just be like, how can you not get this? It's so simple. And I guess you can't take many chances. I'm going to say this is Hungary just because that license plate had a, the colors of the Hungarian flag. I think it started with an H on the plates. And that's assuming that these guys, that's how the European plates work, and I'm sure they don't. But I'm going to go with that. We're almost through the video, and I'm still very much very hot. I'm going to very much shower once this is done. Because I don't know why I told you that, but I guess you guys needed to know that. I think it's because this feels like it's very hot here, too. There is a road sign here, and this may be of, of use. Debrecen almost feels like a thing I've seen before. Um, 47. Let's see if I can't find it. I'm, I'm going to say this is Hungary. I'm going to stick with that. Debrecen. Um, it's not a big enough road to actually show up here, so we're going to go this far in. See, 50 is 45. 47, okay, here's 47. Dereski, no, Debrecen, okay, so I am in the right country. Brekeskaba, all right, where's Brekeskaba? It's got to be down here. There's Brekeskaba, okay, so now i got to start looking for bodies of water that I could have driven over. Could have been here, but we really didn't get off any roads. Could have been the Koros River. Let me hit home, because we drove for a while. Okay, so we were, came right off a... No, this isn't an intersection at all. Hmm. Where was Depressing again? Okay. Oh, we were farther up north. What was the name of this river? The Crispel Repity. All right, this one is a huge... Craggy. This feels southeast. Um... Or Southwest America, maybe Spain, not Spain, Mexico. Let's see what these, oh, you got the Rio Mendoza, which apparently gets very wide. I think that's how you can tell when a river is very old is how wide it is. It's the Department of Lujan de Cuyo. This is very beautiful country out here. You got RN7. Now that I know, when I look at Brazilian roads, their road signs are broken up into provinces, and they actually have, like BA, you see there, and the province is Bahia. They, they, they correspond with the uh, province they're in. But I don't think this, this is Brazilian. This is an RN, and I just saw an RO. So I gotta look at, I'm going to cover all my bases here. I'm going to look at roar, 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 whatever this is called. Hopefully. Okay, this does not seem to have, like, smaller. That's RR. Okay. So I don't think I've, I've satisfied my ability to uh, realize that this is not Mexico. I'm going to stick with that. But this is RN71139. I don't know. Yeah, these, these don't have like that root marker on here. I'm still going to stick with this being Mexico, though. I'll just say we're in Sonora. What was the name of this river again? Rio Mendoza. All right. That's Rio de Janeiro. I'm spelling that terribly, but it's going to happen. Uh, is it, I'm going to say this is... There are some mountains. It gets very high, like down here towards Mexico City. I don't know. It might be the highest city in elevation 
in the world. I could be completely misremembering that. This might help me. Okay, got Mendoza. We're on seven. Okay, so this helps immensely. I mean, I see a number, whether or not I'm actually going to find it. You know. Are we on the Baja Peninsula? I don't think so. Will I find... Okay, so odd numbers go north, south, even east, west. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to find the 7. Which is not surprising. Because that's my luck. Uh, found five. <laughs> found two. Let's look for seven. I'm just going to go pan this way across the country. And if you find it before I do, well, you've won today. That was the game of the day. Your eyes are better than mine. I should just look for Mendoza. I don't think it's that small of a city. But clearly it is. Look for the seven. Okay, coming across. Do not, it's got to be up here. Has to be. Oh my fuck. Mendoza down there. Well. It's been a while since I've been had like that. I don't feel I was too far off of my logic. They are pretty close to each other if you fold the country, the, the world over on the equator. So, like, um, climate-wise, I was in the right ballpark, just very, very, very far away. I think I did better on at least one of my 10-second videos than I did on this one. But them's the breaks. And that's going to do it for our Wednesday. I'd like to thank you all for watching taking the time out of your day it's very much appreciated uh again if you have any videos you would like to see me do could be geoguesser themes it could be anything in general honestly go ahead put them in the comments below and if you could like favorite comment subscribe tell your friends tell me tell your cat i mean you can talk to your kitchen table if you want to just don't inconvenience anybody when you do it and uh go about your day go about your lives we're gonna reconvene again uh, later this week. And, uh, yeah. I just zoned out for a sec. I'm still waking up. That coffee has not gone through my system yet. Go out, live your lives, be good to one another, and we'll see you again very shortly. Quicker than you think. It always is. Even to me, that still surprises me, but goodbye, folks.